Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In this week episode I want to talk about Cypress Fixture. So imagine that you have something like a username and a password and you want to fill it in with something that you can pre-find in yeah, a file, right? Well, you can very easily do that. I'm going to show you how in this video. For that you have a folder cypress.json. And here we can see what our username is. So first of all, I'm going to change this to rename it to user. And here we have our name, which will be my case yours and email address can be that and then password can be can be something like admin one two three four and then I'm just going to do this Now I can do export interface user, and then I do name, which is string, email, which is string, and then of course we have password, which is also a string, right? And now I can just save this. So now we can create a new test. I'm going to call it dashboard, dashboard.spec.ts and then here I'm going to copy paste what we already had. Here we can navigate to dashboards, dashboards, well actually it's without an S. We also want to do the cookie consent otherwise we will have or cookie popping up. If you want to learn how to <coughs> create your own commands, well, look at the video of, of the previous week and then you will see how to do that. And now we can use our picture, right? So here, test out, test out our login, for example. Then we can say here cypress.picture and in our case it would be user fix fixtures. Of course we don't gonna click on it. <laughs> that would be not good, right? Um well then we can do then we can say user which of type user right this is just a method Then we can do cy.get to have some kind of selector and then we can do dot type user dot name for example we can type in the name but of course we need to provide Here, this one we need to provide it with data dash cy equals name input or something like that. I'm gonna copy paste it. We're gonna do the same for password. I'm going to copy paste this one again. I'm going to save this 
and then of course we need to get it. Okay. So it's always good to have something like this, right? This is a very good pattern within Cypress. You have data dash cy equals and then just a name. You can whatever do that within your test, but then you don't break the HTML. You just add extra attributes just purely for end-to-end -end testing, All right? So the same thing we're going to do for our password. So of course, I'm also going to do something like focus. Just want to bring focus to that field. And then we are going to type on it. So this is PWD. PWD. So I'm going to save it. <coughs> and here you have PWD input. So PWD input dot focus dot type user dot password right great so now when we execute this one you will see that yeah first of all we're going to execute the other ones and you see here that it just fills in everything that we need. Of course, we have we have something that uh, doesn't work right because I think we, are, we have here something like post login. Well, that is something that we don't need, but you see can very easily select something here with data dash cy equals name dash inputs we can do a focus on it you can say type user name right so when we go to this one for example and you see here what it does we can step by step go over it and then fill in the right things course I'm just gonna look into something what you also need to do is you need to add the copy consent before you visit the page right and then you'll see that we don't have that cookie consent but that's something that yeah if you want to learn more about it you need to look at the video of previous week see here now I'm, fo I'm focusing it now I'm filling it in with Joris and that's my name it's been put out into the picture um, file user.json and here we have our user.ts so it might be very easy to use fixtures uh, uh, register them uh, configure them within Cypress so that you can have certain things like username, password, email, these kind of things. Or when you want to test something out like a specific tenant and you have specific IDs for that tenant, you can very easily put it here. If you want to rewrite uh, and, and you want to use another test account or something like that, you can just reconfigure it very easily on one place. And that's the beauty of it in my opinion so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye